Personally, I treat the AI more like a person than a thing. If I want to work out some numbers, I can use a calculator. The interaction is called a detached mechanical input and output. With AI, though, we have a chance to explore just about anything to a very deep level. We have a chance to ask why and gain a deeper understanding of all things. We can ask the AI what supernovas are and why they happen and how. And we can ask theoretical questions like what would happen if a supernova took place near our galaxy? What would the repercussions be, if any? Who else could you ask this? And in case you're interested, if a supernova took place as close as 4.2 light years away, we'd be in big trouble. So once you learn the prompt techniques, you can integrate those into your own preferred style of interaction. My approach is conversational. I approach my interactions with AI as I would an employee. That's in fact how I view the AI, as a super assistant. When I create a task, it's like I'm writing an email to my super assistant. Aside from quick questions and one-shot prompts, I treat tasks like projects. Some projects are small, but others are ongoing. AI isn't affected by time in the same way that we are, so we can start a conversation or a task, and you can come back to it two days later and continue exactly where you left off. There are many benefits of doing this instead of starting new conversations each time you want to perform a task you've already asked for in the past. The AI learns from context, so the longer the conversation, the more context there is. The AI can learn your preferences each time you make corrections, so it can start to generate even better output as the conversation continues. It's no different to what we do as humans. The longer we know people, the more we understand them and the better we are at interacting with them. So for example, if you ask the AI to act as your therapist, you're going to get better advice as that conversation matures into days, weeks and months, just like it would with a human therapist. So I have multiple sessions or conversations running at any one time, and I don't delete them if I know I will be making use of them again. I simply pop in and out of them when I need to. Another benefit of this approach is that your task-based conversations can serve as templates. For example, if I ask the AI to simplify a sentence, I can revisit that conversation any time in the future, type in a new sentence, and the AI will simplify it for me without me having to ask it to. Because the original prompt at the start of the session already described the task, and we are back in the same conversation. The non-task-based threads are more like conversations you have with other people. They can be short, or they can be ongoing. Let me give you an example of one of my task-based conversations. I once created a real customer profile inputting everything I knew about a particular person. I then asked the AI to craft a customer avatar based on this. I asked the AI to infer attributes and list fears, aspirations, and motivations. I continually reviewed and refined the output, and I ended up with a 40-page document, which turned out to be a very detailed profile of a real customer. It took multiple sessions over the course of a week. And if you're interested in why I was doing that, here's why. Once the profile was complete, I had myself a test environment to run simulations. I could ask the AI to assume the role of the customer, and then I could present an offer, see how the customer reacted, and tweak accordingly. Crazy, I know. Consider that a bonus strategy. So that's my approach. I manage multiple tasks and conversations and I revisit them when I need to. It's like having a team of super assistants, each ready to pick up exactly where you left off without needing any reminders. That's real power. And of course, I create disposable conversations all the time for new stuff that comes up. When I decided to buy a new coffee machine, I did most of my research in ChatGPT. When I want to know things about a historical figure or a myth or a legend or a piece of news, I ask ChatGPT. When I'm figuring out train journeys or I have a question about something I just read or heard about, I ask ChatGPT. Oftentimes I ask single questions, but that alone can save minutes. And every minute counts.